Welcome to the Jewelry Making Podcast, where you can learn the trade's tips, tricks, and secrets with Mark Burgess. Go to jewelryapprenticeship.com to get your free jewelry making course. Hi, welcome. Uh, before I get started, uh, I just want to tell you a little bit. All we're going to do is go through some blow torches and um, what sort of blow torches I use, uh, what sort of flames you need. There's techniques for different flames and for different uh, bits and pieces. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a um, with each podcast from now on. I'm going to be doing a little work, a little worksheet, so you guys can print off. Uh, go to the show notes. It will be at the bottom, or actually, I'll put it at the top. Put it top and the bottom, so you don't have to look for it that much. Uh, yeah, you just bring it out, and you can start up a little uh, folder. So every time that you need to go and look something up because you're not sure, or oh, yeah, you might have missed something, or you just want a little refresh, print it out, put it in a little folder, and uh, you can just use it as a little reference. I thought it was a really good idea. Um, I hope you guys do too. So yeah, let's, let's get started. I'm looking forward to it. Today, we're gonna go through um, some blow pipes, and I've got two blow pipes here. Uh, you don't have to get these exact blow pipes. You can get something that's similar, it's more about what you do with the flame than it is what blowpipe you get. Uh, so I'm just going to run through the ones that I have, the ones that I use every day. Uh, they're really reliable, they're, they're brilliant. Uh, first one is a blowpipe. Uh, basically what you do is you have a tube here which feeds the gas into the front here and then you have another end which you blow like that and you have to circular breathe uh, basically what that means is that um, you blow the air into your cheeks you hold it like so and then you gently blow that out by it and then by replacing it you breathe into your nose and then push it through to your mouth it sounds complicated but it's really easy after you get a, uh, have a few goes um, you, you get the hang of it and you, you're rocking Basically, what I do is I use colour gas, just basically like a little barbecue gas can or camping one. I've got this bad boy, which is oxygen and propane, comes with a torch like this. Oxygen is represented by the blue and the gas by the orange. And uh, yeah, that's them right there. Yeah, these bottles are only little, they uh, they don't take a lot, but to be fair, um, you're not going to be... Unless you're a real professional jeweller and you're doing it like lots of platinum every day, then you'll need a bigger one. But if you're doing like bits and pieces, um, like on gold or anything like that, you can still solder platinum with this, I've done platinum with this, but it won't last as long because you need to get a hotter temperature. So um, yeah, it's a good little kit that. I've got this from just a local uh, gas supplier uh, place you want to have a look around. I don't think they sell them online. I've had a look, I couldn't find any. If I do, I'll put it in the show notes, go and check it out and um, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link. Uh, well, provide you a link. Uh, yeah, it's good. I've had a couple of melt ups out of this. Uh, I've melted some 9 karat gold with this. Um, I think I've done about three melt ups with it, which uh, when you do melt ups it takes quite a bit of gas because you, you're melting up a lot of metal, uh, well in jewellery terms it's a lot of metal, uh, but I've still got, it's still going strong, I've had that for a while now, so uh, I've soldered up a bit of um, platinum um, like sides in rings and things like that, doing a bit of solder, uh, yeah it's going, it's going strong so I highly recommend this. Uh, it cost me about £30 for each bottle, but uh, to buy the whole thing was about £200 uh, with the torch and everything like that, but you don't have to pay that again, it's only £30 for each one that you use up. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend this, very good. Uh, let's get started then. Uh, I'm just going to turn my gas on, keep it under my bench, I'm not being weird, I'll just keep it under my bench, because, well, where else are you going to put it really? Uh, you twist the nozzle anti-clockwise 
with gas everything uh, with the threads and everything uh, is anti-clockwise uh, got a big lighter because it stops people from stealing it because it really gets on my wick <laughs> uh, now it takes a while depending on how long your, um, your pipe is to your gas oh, sorry you twist this anti-clockwise as well to get more gas out and I'll show you exactly what I mean Right, so it takes a little while just to get the gas going through and then there we go. So when you turn this anti-clockwise, you get more of a flame. Okay, so now what I was talking about with your mouthpiece, put this in like this and then you just gently blow. Don't force it because it will be too much, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Look, we'll do a gentle blow first. So twist your gas to turn it on, and then a gentle blow. Can't really see that. Well, be careful, I'll burn my bench down. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, I'll probably turn the lights off and show you in a minute exactly how it works. <clears throat> but before we do that, I want to go through um, your sold. So what you do is you, you've got your flame and then you twist anti-clockwise you get more gas coming out and then you blow gently like so and if you blow too much it just it doesn't work, it just goes all messy, look. Sounds good. Gets you absolutely nowhere. And try not to blow it out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's your, that's your flames. Basically, what you want, you want a nice, fluffy flame, like the one we've done, first of all, like this. This point here is your hottest point. Sorry. That flame where I was just pointing is your hottest point. That's exactly where you want your job to be. So you'll have your metal there with your solder and you want it that height away from your job and you'll just warm it up and it will flood beautifully. But if you go hard like I just showed you with the first one, you'll be there for hours trying to do it. You probably won't even succeed to solder it. Um, and it's the same with uh, the oxygen, but it's a completely different sort of um, frame. So, I mean, you don't have to get one of these. You can get one of those um, like hobby craft ones where it's like propane gas, like a lighter gas in the end of it. But what's important is the flame that you get from your blowtorch. So that flame then was a perfect flame and this blowtorch has been used for God knows how many years, probably hundreds of years this technique and it works beautifully. I use it nearly every day. So um, if you can learn to use this you'll love it and you'll never look back. The other ones can be a little bit intense so you get a really sharp narrow little flame when you get that you got less chance to judge when your solder's about to run or when it's not. They all go really quick and then you have less control and you might end up melting something or you might misjudge your solder and your solder will run to places or areas where you didn't want it to run to. Take it nice and slow, breathe through it and make it nice and fluffy flame and get the, the uh, your job nice a nice cherry red like um, when you're near it the metal goes red or when you warm it up it goes red you want it to go like a nice cherry red that's just before the melting point so your solder will melt but your metal won't because the solder has got a lower melting point to your metal uh, that actually that leads me nicely into your solders 
every type of solder you get from from platinum, gold to silver, you have hard, medium, and easy. So the hard is a harder, it's a higher melting point. So it, the way I like to think of it, it's harder to get it to melt, but it's a stronger, nicer join with your solder. You want to use hard as much as possible, really, and then you go down to medium, where um, medium is just like an, it is, it's in between medium and easy. So the lower, the melting point is just lower than the hard. Then you go down to easy, where it, it is, it, 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 it is what it says on the tin. When you warm it up, you'll be warming it up, and it will probably go before it's even cherry red. It will just solder. Uh, the easy and the medium are they can be a little bit blobby. They won't run as nice as the hard. The hard is the best solders to use. I try and use hard as much as possible, but you'll be doing so many solder joints where it will get too much. Where let's say you have seven solder joints for instance and you'll get to the seventh one and the hard solder that you put in the first one will start running out of the joint so that's when you need to go back and add a bit of medium and it, then it will be nice um, yeah okay so let's get back um, let's get on to the oxygen and I'll show you exactly what we do with that one okay so we've got um, the oxygen torch here so I'm going to turn the I'm going to turn the gas on first that's what you have to do. Okay, there we go. And then we've got the oxygen here. You just twist that anti-clockwise as well. Gently does it. So that's the sort of flame you get. And the hottest point at this flame is at the tip of the bright um, blue part, not here at the end here this is a weaker flame weaker part of the flame even though it's still really hot here is that that's um, the hot part so when you're soldering you want to hit this about about there about a quarter of the way down from the tip of the flame uh, yeah so the thing is with this it's it's very brutal. I want to turn it off because I don't want to waste my gas. Ugh, it often blow out as well. Um, yeah, it's a it's a really strong flame. So your when you when you're soldering, it will go um, it, it will solder quicker, basically. But you've got more chance of it actually melting melting um, the job that you're working on. So um, yeah, what I'll do is um, I'll show you how to solder with these uh, torches. Okay. First of all, we need to use this borax cone. It's basically flux. Let me pour that in there like that. And then all you do Is move this around you like this. All it is is soap and it cleans the join that we're going to solder. You just pour a bit in there like that. Push that bit together. I've just got a bit of solder, um, silver here, which I'm going to solder up. I haven't particularly made it very neat. I just want to show you the basics of um, <coughs> the soldering rather than the actual making the jewellery I've just quickly just cut this with my saw blade and um, yeah so uh, so you get an idea so that's a bit of hard silver solder so I'm going to cut two strips of that off there's one There's two. Okay. Now to demonstrate the difference between the two, I will solder one with the blowpipe and one with the oxygen. I'll just lay that on there like that. 
fire up my oxygen like I showed you earlier turn the gas on first so I've got the gas and now I'm going to turn the oxygen on also what I've done is I've turned the lights off not all of them just most of them so you can see what you're doing not only does it help with the camera but it helps me as well because uh, it helped me see that um, the metal's getting nice and cherry red you see it's starting to move now what you have to do is do a nice even flame and it's soldered let's move on to the next one okay, so now we've got the next one I've just lit my gas and now I'm going to turn the gas on and then I'm going to start blowing And notice the distance that I hold the flame away from the um, the, the solder join. Oh, it's moved a little bit, so I'm just going to move it back. That needs a little bit more borax. I'm just going to put the tip of the cone on here because the uh, the solder didn't run properly. Just needed a little bit more borax. Because the flame can get the the, um, the solder dirty and it doesn't like to run as much and you put the uh, borax on it and then it runs nicely. There we go. Also, when you twist this, that makes the frame bigger and smaller. If you twist it, you can get more of an intense flame, a bit like the um, the oxygen. I'll show you an example. I'll go to a normal flame and then to more of an intense flame. Just to demonstrate what, um, how that works, I'll watch this bit of metal. So you can get a really intense flame from the blowpipe, like the oxygen, but it's not as fierce. If you've done it with oxygen, it would have happened a lot, lot quicker. So I think that's all the time I've got for you today. Um, go to jewelryapprenticeship.com forward slash, forward slash blowpipe and you'll have your um, download sheet on there where you can start to make your um, your little jewellery making manual. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.